All right, we have here a little digital scale. Now this digital scale has an unfortunate problem and that is too much weight was put on it and threw off the calibration. So if we turn this on, let's see what it does. It says something like R2. Well, we need to fix that. In the lab, we need some tools to be able to measure things. Sometimes we need to measure weight. Now this isn't the greatest tool for doing lab style stuff, but for the at home amateur, it may be good enough. But let's recalibrate. So the uh, process according to the instructions on the inside cover is to hit the unit it was unit. It will hold unit. All right, there we go, cal. Now we press unit again. Cal's blinking and it says 500, meaning 500 grams. So we press unit again. I think now that it's blinking, it's looking for this 500 gram weight. Alright. Oh. Maybe I went in too quickly. Okay. Let's see if I can take it off. And there we go. Now let's see if this uh, works. We'll turn it off. Turn it back on. All right, we no longer have the error message on there. And if we try measuring something else, we can see that there's a mass rating. Now this isn't great to be uh, measuring across something like this zero that out again because this is way longer than our scale we can mitigate a little bit of that but we can't entirely do that because depending upon how you orient it you're going to get different results But we can check zero. We'll put our 500 gram weight again, and we have 500 grams. All right, short video: how to fix your digital pocket scale with a calibration weight. Now, there is a question that comes up occasionally of. But what if I don't have a calibration weight? What if I can't get a calibration weight? Well, then, so, US nickel. And look at that. It's just under five grams. So that means if you used a bunch of nickels to try and calibrate your scale, you would be just slightly off. Now, that may be the age of this specific one. Let's try a newer nickel. Ah, the newer nickel came out at five grams. So, old nickel, slightly under five grams. New nickel comes in at about five grams. Now this particular scale needs 200 grams as the minimum weight to be able to calibrate it. So, if you have 
200 grams and you need nickels, you're gonna need 40 nickels. They need to be clean, they cannot have any packaging on them and you'll have to stack them around to get your uh, mass weight that you need to recalibrate. All right, have a good one everybody. Remember to ask questions and try stuff.